in the previous video i forgot to mention how to send notification with image that is why i'm covering this up in this video so go to google and open any image copy image address paste it here if the link is wrong then it will auto suggest you that the link is wrong it will show in red color but here it is right and preview is also available so let's click on so let's click on send test message and you can see my app is terminated click on send message so i've received the notification our app is receiving notification hi everyone in this video i'll be talking about on tap functionality when we receive notification so on tap of that we want to navigate to particular screen we will handle that till now whatever functions we have created here inside this notification services dot dot file this is for android and uh, actually it is working for android and i have already tested in my previous videos so for on tap functionality i'm going to create one more function here separate function so after this we'll create one function by the name handle message So I've created this function and here spelling mistake is there. So handle message and it has got two parameters. One is for build context and another one for message. Now I will create one more dart file for showing a notification inside this notification folder. I will create one dart file. Let's give it a name. notification screen and it would be stateful widget import necessary package let's add here app bar So before going further, I want to let you know about what is payload and what is notification data that we will receive at the time of getting notification. So this is my Firebase init function here for now. We are getting our notification title and body. There is one more thing which contains all notification details. So let's print that. You can see this data it contains all the information of notification so this is our payload and now let's move our firebase console let's rename it once again click on next our device target is already selected next time is also set next and here this is notification channel and this is our custom data it contains key value pair so extra data if you require we will send from here as a backend developer when we send notification information to front end so for now writing some extra data let me type here notification type message type of notification is message and for id i'm providing here one two three so where we can access this information with the help of this data dot to string we will use respective parameters for accessing the particular data so for accessing custom data i'm applying print here
this one for id now let's run your application this text should match properly now click on review publish sometimes it takes time so what we will do duplicate it and click on this send test message let's copy this device token once again so notification is received and here you can see our title body and the custom data is also coming like in the group it is also coming and separately we can also access like this if we click on that notification that we are receiving then nothing will happen we need to do functionalities for that so let's start so inside this firebase init we will call init notification function let's wrap all the functions this one we require init local notification so we will call it here let's provide build context here because we require context why we are actually calling this init local notification function here so if you will come inside you will see that there is on did receive notification response it is predefined and whenever we will receive notification so this will come into existence and here we will call our function that we have created just now handle message and here we are passing this context and message now we will do code inside handle message function and because we have added build context parameter here we need to add parameter here also actually here now inside this handle message function we will check condition and on behalf of particular type of message or whatever data we are receiving we will navigate user to different screen or different functionalities we can perform so what was our type it was this message so we will check if it is message then we will navigate to our notification screen so we have provided a root here so this is about type that we are passing we are passing one more data which is id on tap of whenever we will receive notification on tap of that i will navigate to this notification screen and i will show the particular id of that notification whatever we are receiving from firebase console so let's go to notification screen i will pass data from previous screen to current screen
add require remove this constant now you must be getting error in notification screen here because we need to pass data okay now let's go to this notification screen here after this app bar I'm taking here one text for showing that particular ID. Let's increase the size of the text. Hot reload it. Send this message. Received notification. Now on top of this. Let's close this and run the application once again. So our application has restarted. Now let's go to Firebase console. Send notification once again. Let's click on this. So as you can see, we are navigating to the particular screen and this is our ID that we are receiving from our notification. So like this, you can navigate to the particular screen. Let's suppose in notification we receive message. So if user will tap on message, we will navigate to message screen. And let's suppose in several applications, there are some offers, some price kind of thing come in the form of notification so on tap of that and on behalf of the notification type we will navigate user to offer a screen or some prize reward screen so like this we can handle on tap functionality in notification with flutter firebase so this will work only for android and for ios we need to do some separate functionalities so it is better to apply here one condition platform specific condition if platform is android then only we will call this So for now, if platform is iOS, it will show notification message only and proper functionality on top functionality till now will work for Android only. So this, uh, so this video is actually becoming too long. So in the next video, we will see on tap functionality on notification when app is in background or app is in terminated state. So that's it in this video we will meet in the another part of this remaining notification tutorial bye for now